uh, to have a very good operational start in 2023. We've got great products that we are bringing to the market. We hope that we will be in a position to uh, at least maintain the good momentum that we've had and even improve uh, on that. Uh, this has been a great growth over the last five years. I often reflect on, on the volume. You know, we celebrated 1 million units produced in 2016. That's around about 10 years after our founding, just slightly over 10 years. Uh, we are looking forward very soon to celebrate uh, 5 million units produced. And I want to emphasize again the speed of access to authorities and to interpreting and managing regulations. Uh, in China, particularly in Beijing, we have always found that to be very constructive and very fast and with a high amount of focus from authorities on, of course, keeping people safe, but also resuming production and, and having stable operations. Even though it was a difficult period, we're really positive about the experiences that we have from that time and what we could also learn as an organization during such difficult times. As you might know, producing more than 600,000 units in 2022 um, and a very strong start in, in 2023. So we feel that uh, the experiences that we have gained in the past, how to deal with pandemic control processes, of course, with all the new regulations that have been issued and we're looking forward to a, a very strong year operationally. We can see that the Chinese industry is developing very rapidly. Competition is always good. Uh, competition brings out the best in products, uh, in engineering uh, developments. We are very confident that we have the right technology roadmap to, to compete in this fast developing industry and we, and we welcome the competition. For us, the most important aspect is to be sure that, that we are from a manufacturing capability and from an operations capability are fully flexible. So as you might know, we have also two large engine plants uh, in Beijing. Um, how do we continue to transform that capacity to battery production as well as to electric drive systems of the future. So that, that transformation of the industry to make sure that you have the flexibility to follow market demand, uh, that has been a very important part of our um, investment strategy, equipment deployment strategy and also product creation strategy. The race ahead of us, it'll be like a Spartan race. It's a, a multi-dimensional team race event in which you have different types of obstacles. We need a lot of endurance because there are many challenges ahead. This transformation period um, that we will face for many years to come uh, requires a lot of energy, a lot of endurance. We need teamwork more than ever before. We also enjoy uh, the fact that we're in competition and we also have fun uh, being competitive and, and wanting to lead the industry uh, in different ways. China has a robust economic development, so we hope and we trust that the, the mechanisms that are being put in place to strengthen the economy, to strengthen consumption in the economy will continue and will be successful. We are citizens of Beijing as BBAC. Uh, Beijing is our, our home, so to speak. Uh, and we have a very positive and a constructive business focused environment. Very good relationship with BDA management committee, with Beijing City. Of course, that also helps us uh, to have the right infrastructure, the right processes in place to support our business. So that's a good, very good foundation. 